ಗಡದ ವಿಕಾರ ನಾಮ ಚಾರ 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 ಜೇನರ ಗಡದ ವಿಕಾರ ನಾಮ ಚಾರ ಗಡದ ವಿಕಾರ ನಾಮ ಚಾರ ಗಡದ ವಿಕಾರ ನಾಮ ಗಡದ ವಿಕಾರ ನಾಮ ಚಾರ ಗಡದ ವಿಕಾರ We just heard a short excerpt from a Dhrupat performance by Pandit Udeb Havelkar, one of the foremost exponents of Dhrupat today. The link to the performance is given below and please do listen to it fully. Dhrupat, as we discussed in our previous video, is one of the genres of Hindustani music. In this video, we look at some broad features of Hindustani music and get a bird's eye view of Khayal Dhrupad and instrumental music. As uh, I mentioned in the last video and as many of you would know, we have two traditions of classical music in India, Karnataka or the Southern and Hindustani or the Northern music. Both are ba based on Raga and Tala. Both have um, a compositional and an 
improvisational aspect. Unlike Carnatic music, which is one unitary system in terms of repertoire and presentation, Hindustani music includes the three genres of Drupad Khayal and Vatya. So, uh, we have this schema, Indian classical music involves presentation of ragas using compositions set in Tala, characterized by various methods of improvisation. And we have two kinds, Hindustani music that has evolved in the north and Carnatic music that has evolved in the south. Carnatic music is a unitary system with a shared repertoire, raga and tala and compositional and compositions. Hindustani music, which has the three genres of Drupad, Khayal and instrumental music, has a shared repertoire of ragas. It is these three genres share more or less a repertoire of ragas, though the talas are different. Um, in the last video, we looked at what are some of the features of these genres. That is the reason for their being called classical music, how they are different from uh, what are not classical music in India. Now, in this what follows, we will now consider some fundamental features of the music itself. What are some very basic features of the music, uh, Indian classical music, whether Carnatic or Hindustani, it is equally applicable. The first is that very fundamental uh, feature of Indian classical music is that it is melodic. Not, there is no harmony or polyphony. Melodic music means when notes are uh, rendered in succession. Then we have a melody, a tune is a melody. Whereas harmony and polyphony, they are uh, when uh, more than one note are rendered simultaneously. Such as in chords, for instance, a chord is a, an example of uh, harmonic, harmonic music. And this, for instance, is the uh, uh, typical feature of Western classical music or even Western popular music. Um, all uh, traditional mu Indian music is primarily melodic. Now, what kind of melody? The melody uh, in Indian classical music is ruled by the world of ragas. And we will take a look at what ragas are in considerable de detail in this course. And this melody is ornamented, extensively ornamented. That is, um, the, you may have heavy or not so heavy, um, subtle or not so subtle ornament, but it is extensively ornamented. We will see what ornamentation is also in the course. There is no modulation or change of the tonic. Now, the tonic is a very important tone in all music. In western music, this usually shifts within a piece, uh, but in Indian classical music, the same tonic is maintained throughout the performance. There is no modulation or shift of tonic during a concert and again we will explain this uh, as we end, uh, progress in the course. Presentation of this music involves tala or time cycles. Tala is a cyclic measure of time divided into a specific number of units depending on the tala and the idea of returning to a particular point or unit in the time cycle is an important aesthetic in Indian classical music, whether Carnatic or Hindustani. And performance is a coming together of composition and improvisation, though the nature of composition and improvisation is different across the various genres. We have oral and oral pedagogy and minimal importance is given to notation, that is the music is taught orally and absorbed orally. There is very little place for notation except as a reference tool. Um, 
and notation is also rudimentary that is it does not try to capture the melodic complexity of the music and certainly we do not try to uh, make music by reading off a notation. Centrality of the voice, all instruments aspire to the condition of the human voice. This is acknowledged within the tradition, within the performance tradition and is in fact borne out by many master instrumentalists aspiring to bring out the vocal nuances in their instruments. This is called gayake ang or the way of singing is both prized and a matter of prestige. But it is equally undeniable that instrumental music too has impacted vocal music and this is true in both the traditions. So these are some broad features of Indian classical music both Carnatic and Hindustani. There are of course many differences too which we will not go into here. Now let us take a quick look at the three genres of Hindustani music. Khayal, Dhrupad and instrumental music are about presentation of ragas using thalas. Um, then why are they taken to be different genres? That we will see uh, as we uh, progress. Now the ragas as I said are drawn more or less from the same corpus. That is there is a shared repertoire of ragas though there are some ragas that uh, you know khayalias may perform but uh, Drupad performers might not and the vice versa. But the bulk of ragas are shared. The taala, talas are different, the, the percussion instrument itself is different and the way of accompaniment is different between khayal and Drupad. Drupad uses the pakhavaj whereas khayal uses the tabla and they have different talas. talas. And vaadya, uh, mainly uses the tabla and tabla talas except for the rudra bean which is uh, a, a veena a stringed instrument of the drupa tradition and therefore uses the pakhavaj. Each of these genres that is drupa khayal and instrumental music has its own repertoire of compositions. Nevertheless khayalias often use Drupad compositions repurposing them to uh, or recasting them to sound like khayal and instrumental musicians too often use khayal and other compositions. Improvisation is uh, a common feature but it is significantly different between khayal and Drupad. The strategies employed, the technical and aesthetic challenges they are all different. The textures of Khayal and Drupad are also different primarily due to the ornaments employed, the relation between melody and time as well as the method of the unfolding of the presentation. Both Drupad, Khayal and instrumental music there is a progression from the very leisurely and, and uh, open spaces between notes to great deal of density. So from the very slow to the very fast there is a broad range of tempo in all three traditions. Uh, that is another thing that is common to all of them. So broadly then all three that is Trupad Khayal and Vadya are presentation of Raga using Thala. They involve coming together of composition and improvisation pedagogy accords primacy to the oral oral method with very little notation and as I said there are important differences to the compositional forms themselves are different especially Drupad and Khayal uh, compositional forms are different. The way they are set in Thala is different, the content of the lyrics is different, the, the kind of accompaniment is different, the methods, the strategies of improvisation are different and we will go into more details about these forms later. But for now we need to know that these three are interlinked genres and the Tumri idiom which I said also presents an important aesthetic. 
Tumni is a lyrical idiom employing quick ornaments. They create a lighter texture to the medium, uh, very easily impact, impactful. And uh, though Tumri compositions are set in ragas, the raga itself is not the focus. The text and the uh, emotion, the bhava are, and the music deviates from the raga in which the composition is set in very uh, in stylized ways. Drupad, it is generally agreed, is the older form. In fact, a few centuries ago, Drupad was the monarch. Some very famous names in uh, Indian music uh, were Drupad performers. These are uh, musicians like Swami Haridas, the great Tansen, Naik Gopta, Gopal, Baiju and others. Compositions attributed to them are still vital parts of the Drupad repertoire. Khayal gained prominence as a different new style, as a genre that was different from Drupad. But Khayal draws from the Drupad Shaili or the Drupad style and we shall see that some of the older styles of Khayal have close links with Drupad presentation and Drupad expression. As Khayal evolved, it shed uh, many of these aspects and in a span of a couple of centuries, it became the preeminent genre of Hindustani classical music. In fact, in the 20th century, Drupad faced uh, the threat of um, dying out of extinction, but it received a second lease of life primarily because of a deep interest in this form, this sophisticated sound. Uh, that the that European listeners and West in general evinced. This subtle art now has a good number of practitioners and listeners, though it is still not as popular as khayal. As for uh, instrumental music, the sitar, sarod, santur, flute, shehnai, etc., are some of the very visible instruments on the seen. We heard a bit of Drupad in the beginning of this lesson. We will now listen to a brief sample each of Khayal and instrumental music.
Thank you.